Science gadgets are like magic tricks you can actually explain, sometimes. Today I grabbed the craziest, weirdest, and most mind-blowing science gadgets on Amazon, and I'm gonna test every single one of them. Let's see which ones are genius and which ones are just plain ridiculous. First up is the classic Plasma Globe by Creative Motion. Touch it, and boom, the lightning follows your fingers like you're some kind of budget Thor. It looks like pure sorcery, but really it's just electricity dancing around in gas. Still, it makes me feel like a mad scientist in my bedroom. Next is the Ferrofluid Bluetooth Speaker by Zeotech. Imagine liquid metal dancing to your music. Every bass drop makes the black goo bounce like it's alive. Is it practical? Not really. Is it hypnotizing? Oh yeah. Honestly, I spent 20 minutes playing just the SpongeBob theme on repeat. You've seen this in every boss's office. Newton's cradle desk toy, but in real life, weirdly satisfying. One ball smacks, energy transfers, the other one swings, physics in action, until you get bored and start smacking all the balls at once, which ruins the whole thing. Still fun, though. Then there's Magnetic Thinking Putty by Crazy Aarons. At first it looks like normal slime, but when you bring the included magnet close, the putty creeps toward it like it's alive. Creepy, but also addictive. Basically slime for nerds, and yes, I am the nerd. Next up, the Perpetual Motion Kinetic Desk Toy by Science Geek. It's basically a little solar system on a stand that spins endlessly. Mesmerizing to watch, sure, but perpetual motion? Sorry, science says nope, it only keeps going because of batteries. Amazon almost fooled me into breaking physics. This one's straight out of a pirate movie. The Storm Glass Weather Predictor by Eon Concepts. It's a glass filled with liquid and crystals that supposedly predict the weather. Spoiler, it doesn't actually work. Mine said it was storming Scout, while I was standing in the sun. But hey, at least it looks like Hogwarts decor. Okay, this one's surprisingly fun. The Zip String Flying Toy. It shoots a loop of string that just hovers midair like magic. You can spin it, toss it, and it looks like you're controlling some invisible yo-yo trick. Weird science, maybe? Fun science, definitely. Now for the kids, or for me when I'm bored at 2 a.m., Crayola Scribble Scrubby Pets. You color on these little toy animals with markers, then wash them off and do it all over again. Science? Not really. Therapy? Absolutely. Next is the legendary Kinetic Sand by Spin Master. It's sand, but better. It sticks to itself, flows like lava, and somehow never makes a mess. You start building castles, but five minutes later you're just squeezing it like Play-Doh because it feels way too good. Okay, this one screams nostalgia. Magic tracks glow in the dark race set. You snap together bendy tracks, throw in a light-up car, and boom. Instant rave party for kids. It's fun for about 10 minutes. Then the noise makes you want to donate it to your neighbor's kids instead. Next gadget, the Infinity Mirror by Wall Beyond. It looks like a regular mirror until you turn it on. Then it's an endless tunnel of light stretching into forever. It's like staring into the multiverse, but instead of Doctor Strange, you just see your messy bedroom. This one blew my mind, the anti-gravity water drop humidifier. Instead of steam rising, the water droplets fall upward. Yup, up. It's an optical illusion using lights and timing, but it makes your desk look like a futuristic science lab. And finally, the levitating 3D moon lamp by VGAzer, a glowing moon that literally floats above its base, spinning slowly in midair. It looks so good in a dark room, I swear NASA could use this as promo. Best nightlight ever, hands down. So, after testing every science gadget Amazon had to offer, my brain is officially fried, but in a fun way. My top pick? The levitating moon lamp. My least useful? Sorry, storm glass. Let me know which one blew your mind the most. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe send me some goggles, because science is dangerous.